Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 17. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my college click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 17 to 21. Hey, a fellow YouTuber asked this question about a check book register and how to reconcile a checking account in Excel. I'm going to show you a cool trick here. It's based on an earlier video. We have a checkbook here and I'm going to do a couple of the things we did in the earlier video and then compare them to some of the tricks we see when we do our bank reconciling. Here it is. We have date, check number, description, withdrawal, deposit, balance, and reconciling. That's if the bank knows about it, we put a Y there. And then we'll do a two sum if formula that will always calculate the balance that the bank should have. Then all you have to do, because this is automatically calculating, is check online to see what the balance is and see if it equates here. First, I want to calculate a balance for the balance column, but I want to show you something tricky here. I'm going to click in this cell right here. It says balance, right? But no way. What's in the cell? It's a zero. That is can, um, custom number formatting. I'm going to click in that cell right there and control one. Under custom, under the number tab, I've just typed in the word balance. That means no matter what I put in that cell, it'll always show the word balance. I'm, I want that zero there because I'm going to create a formula here that I can copy down that will work for all the cells. And I always need to look one cell above for the balance. This is the initial deposit. So let's do our formula here. Formula, the logical test is A, is the date blank? If the date is blank, then I'm going to value if true is blank in the cell. Otherwise, we'll have our calculating formula. Control Enter. When I double click and send it down, bloop. sure enough, when I click down here and double click, you can see that it's ca seeing that that's blank and putting a blank into that cell. Now I want to add data validation to this because I want to only put Y's here. And I want a little drop down that will allow me to select Y. So I'm going to highlight that whole column. And data, data tools group, data validation. In 2003, you go to data menu, data validation. The keyboard shortcut that works always in both versions, Alt DL. And then allow what? I'm going to click list. And watch this. All we have to do is in source type a Y. Click OK. No way. Now there's a drop down. Drop down with a Y. Now I want um, to make this checkbook um, a couple steps um, more excellent. I would like to add conditional formatting, because I want to, a visual cue that will show me what records have been reconciled. So I'm going to highlight this whole table, just like that. And when you add formatting, conditional formatting that highlights a whole row, you got to be aware that where the white cell is, that is a white cell. That's important when we um, put our true false formula in. We're going to have a true false formula that will add conditional formatting. Now I can go up to Home, Styles, Conditional Formatting, New Rules. In 2003, you go to Formatting, Conditional Formatting. In 2003, you got to click that first text box that is uh, and select Formula Is. In 2007, you got to say Use Formula. Click right here. This formula that we're going to type will be stored in memory and copied to every single cell. Now I have to scroll over because the cell I want is cell H9. I'm going to hit my F4 key one, two times to lock the column, but not the row. Now remember, this formula, actually let me finish it first, equals, and then in quotes, Y, end quote. This formula is a true-false formula that will look for each row to see whether uh, the reconciling column has a Y. If it does, it comes out true. If it doesn't, it comes out false. Now, I want to take a look here. This formula, which is in our this dialog box, is stored in memory, but it's as if it was put into this cell and copied over and down. That is why we have to lock the column. Because when we copy it over, we want it locked. But when we copy it down, we want it to move to the next row. Now I'm going to click Formatting, and then uh, Fill, and Yellow. In 2003, that says Patterns. Click OK, click OK. That is so cool. That is a visual cue that helps us see which records are reconciled. Now we have to do our um, two sum ifs to calculate uh, the bank 
balance, and this will always be accurate as long as we, when we look at our online site, if we put a Y here to say the bank has this, then our formula here for bank balance will always show us what the bank balance should be. Now, um, let's just think about this. How are we going to do this? Two sum ifs. If we were to add up all the deposits when there's a Y and subtract all the withdrawals when there's a Y, that would be the two sum ifs. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to highlight, uh, actually increase the size a little bit. See if I can make this a little bit easier to see. All right, in this cell right here, I'm going to say equals sum if. The range is going to be our reconciling range. Now watch this. When we copy this formula down, we want it to start looking here. But as we copy the formula down, the, the range to expand. Here's how you do that. You click in the cell. And then to add a colon, you shift semicolon. That puts a colon in the same cell reference. And then you come to the first cell reference and hit your F4 key twice. Again, let me do that again. I click in the cell, I, uh, the cell I want, the beginning of the range, and shift semicolon. That puts the colon in the cell reference. Then I highlight the first one, or put my cell in the first one, and hit F4 twice, lock it. That means when we copy it down, this range will expand. So this blue one will get bigger as we copy it down. Now the criteria, I'm going to type at the end in comma, in quotes Y, end quote. And then comma, the range we're summing is deposits. And we're going to do our same trick, F9, and then shift semicolon. I click in this first cell right here, F9, the first F9, I hit F4 twice. That locks it going down. Then I close parentheses. Now, since the uh, second sum if is almost exactly the same, I'm going to highlight this, Control C, very cl carefully click at the end or come up to the formula bar. I'm going to do it here because you can see a little bit bigger. And I'm going to type minus and control V. Now, the only difference is the deposits are in the E column. So I'm going to change this to an E and change this to an E. That is our formula. Control Enter. And I copy it all the way down. Copy it all the way down. All the way down. Boop. Now, look what it did. Uh, right here, if I scroll over and take a look, I have a subtraction from my account, 125.25, that we know about. But because there no, is no Y here, the bank balance is not showing that it knows about it. When I type a Y here, not only does that formula update, but the uh, formatting that we applied updates also. Now, instead of using our if like we did in the balance column, I'm going to use conditional format. So I'm going to highlight this whole uh, um, range here. Notice the light colored cell at the top is when you use a true-false formula for conditional formatting, that's where it gets. And it's as if it's copied down to every cell. So that has a true-false formula. I'm going to Alt-O-D. That's the keyboard shortcut, Alt-O-D. That works in both versions for conditional formatting. Now, I have to click New Rule here. And the, then use formula to determine which cells are in to format. I click here, formats to where the formula goes. And the formula here is going to be this cell right here. Notice even though we're putting the formula here, it's looking two cells to my left. And guess what? I have to hit F4, 1, 2, 3 times equals blank. So it's H9, relative cell reference, two cells to my left, equals double quote, double quote. If that's true, then the format, I'm going to click here on the format. In, two, in earlier versions, you didn't have the number tab for conditional formatting. So under fill or patterns, you would do white. For uh, 2000 and uh, 7, we have a number tab. So we can go down to custom and put the custom number format for blank. Semicolon, semicolon, semicolon. So that's a pretty cool custom number format. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And as we see, now even though the formula is there, it looks blank. Now I'm going to try this, see if it works. I'm going to click here and type 5 slash 22, 1004, vendor. 5, 50 bucks. Notice this formula updates. This one uh, isn't even showing up because there's no Y there. But as soon as I put a Y there, 
hey, you know what? That's dumb. I'm going to delete that. I actually want that there. What would be a better test than using this? Hey, the date. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to go back up to um, conditional formatting, Alt-O-D. And I'm going to click on my formula here and edit. It's not H9. I'm going to click, since it's B, I'm going to say B9 for the B column for the date. And then click OK, click OK. There, that's much better. So that's how to edit them. All right, we'll see you next YouTuber Love Excel magic trick.